All right, guys, what's going on? David Lillian back with yet another video, and today is going to be another part in my Let's Talk About series. So if you liked the last one, which was Let's Talk About Brushes, where I gave a little breakdown of how I use brushes and just kind of basically everything that I know about using brushes, kind of brushes 101, if you will. So today, uh, somebody requested that I do this one for fonts. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna talk with you guys a little bit about fonts, how to use them, how to download them, and which ones that I like. So first, we're gonna start with the ones that I really do like. So we're in Photoshop here, as you can see. And basically, I'm just gonna go through some fonts that I think would be good in certain scenarios. So if you want a classy font that looks thin and nice, I'm just, you know, jumping right into it here. Uh, one that I would definitely recommend, this is so standard, is uh, Arial Regular. So I'm just going to type my name. And you can see it's it's very standard, you know, uh, A, B, C, D, E, yeah. So that that's basically a classy font, that's Arial Regular. Now if you want to go a little bit cooler, uh, this is something that I have used for a lot of time from our watermark. Um, it is called uh, a Vengeance Heroic Avenger Regular, I believe. And yes, a Vengeance Heroic Avenger Regular. So as you can see that, I actually like to do this one uh, not in uppercase just because it makes all the letters the same size and I really like the way it looks. Um, so the next one that I'm going to show you is great for designs and I'm actually going to be giving a tutorial on a design similar to this in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. I will be using this one and this is called Century Gothic so Century Gothic regular and I really really like the way this looks this is one that I would put at the bottom of the design and space out the lettering I think it does look actually very very nice um, yeah I, I really like the way this looks um, the next one that I want to show you guys is a pretty wacky one uh, but I've always really liked the way it looks and this is uh, called Burnout Fade Away Regular so this one oh, did it not work? Didn't go to it. Ah. It's still not going to it. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So this one's called Burnout Fade Away Regular, and this one is is very, very out there. It's got that nice sort of glass effect, so you wouldn't need to create that on your own. It kind of does that for you, as you can see, uh, which I really like. I, I do like that. Um, so the next one that we're going to go to is one called so this this is if you're if you're doing something for uniforms if you're doing something for jerseys and you're really into that you can do a font called collegiate black flf regular and what this is going to do all the types of numbers here you can see uh the numbers on display i want to go down come on there we go so you can see there are your numbers um, that's basically what it looks like. So that's good for the back of jerseys. Another one great for the back of jerseys is known. I have it down here. Let's see if I can find it, find it, find it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, headliner number 45 regular. Now I really like this one. Uh, it's not, I mean, the, it's not the most realistic, but I guess you could use it on the back of jerseys. I've always been a fan of that font. I've used it in a lot of my edits in the past. So, uh, one that a lot of you guys I'm sure want to know is the FIFA font, the font that EA uses in FIFA, and that one's called EA Sans Curve Regular. So, you can get a glimpse of this that, you know, everybody knows it, it's the FIFA font. It's, uh, you know, yeah. So, just EA Sans Curve Regular. I also like to make the point that all these fonts that I have are free. I got these all for free, I downloaded them all off the internet, and I'm actually going to show you very soon how to get some of these fonts. So the next one is a crazy one. This is called Fighting Spirit. Um, Fighting Spirit Turbo Regular, in fact. So really, really energetic and high energy font, if you will. Um, the next one that I'm gonna show you guys is a really nice one. And it is, I use it actually a lot. Um, it's called Impacted Medium. So I'm gonna throw my last name in there. Um, for those who don't know, that's you spell it L-I-L-I-A-N. And this one's a good one. I use it in a lot, a lot of my edits, most recently on Footballistics. Link in the description. Um, anyways, so movie, you know, just I'm just showing you guys some great fonts. And feel free to find your own fonts. I'm going to show you how to do that very, very, very soon. Um, so one of the final ones that I'm going to show you is Wallowex Sinan. This one is a really, really good one. I am loving this of late. I think it's great in really everything. I use it in the back of my vectors. I use it in just a lot of things. You can use this in text designs. Um, another negative space font is called All Ages Regular, and this one uh, kind of looks like paper being ripped, I guess. 
that's I guess the look that the designer was going for. So I really do like this one. Uh, again, totally free. Now, when you want, uh, if you want, you can go online and kind of get um, like certain clubs have certain fonts. So you can go online and get like, for example, I just got the Borussia Dortmund team font. So you know, uh, let's see how this looks. So we can write out uh, Royce in it, and that's basically how it would come out on the back of their shirts. It's mostly for the kit numbers. That's how it looks. And another one, so that's just, you just look up Borussia Dortmund 1516 font and you'll find it. Uh, another one that I just got is I actually just got Real Madrid's font from a couple of seasons ago. You may recognize it. It was from 2014-15. This was not from last season. This was from the season before that. So, uh, you know, why not? Right, Ronaldo. Um, moving on now. So now I'm going to show you guys how to get some great fonts. So we're going to switch over to Safari. Safari, and we are going to go to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and basically this is a really, really great website, you know, it, it shows, it's just like I did with Brush Easy last time, we can just go click on anything, so let's go with a, uh, uh, let's see, find something cool, let's go with um, Serif, that's not really that cool, but just to show you guys, just to be very, very basic, uh, we can see Ghost Light, that looks like a very nice font. So let's download it, and it's going to pop up here in our downloads, and we're going to go back down to Photoshop. I assume it's downloaded already, so if it comes up, if it comes up, I guess we'll open it up here. It didn't come up yet. So we'll pop it open here, Ghost Light, and you can see we have all these versions. The .tffs are the ones that you want. So we can pick any one of these. It gives you actually 10, 10 of them, which looks really nice. So we can pick any one of them. So we can go with here, Ghost Light Regular .tff. So we're just going to double click it and click install font. And this is going to automatically install it into Photoshop. I don't know about other programs if it installs it on, but basically we can go up here and now we can see our new font. Where is it? 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 Can't seem to find it. Here it is. Ghost light regular. We have it all nice and our new font that we have loaded in. So guys, I know this was a quick video today. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to throw it out there for you guys because I know you guys have been asking for something on fonts, some of you guys very specifically for quite some time. So I just wanted to give that to you. And if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, please remember to give it a like if you're new here to subscribe. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Come easy and the come cheap Well I'll stay skinny cause we just want it